After 27 seasons at Manchester United, Sir Alex Ferguson ended his colossal reign at Old Trafford at the end of the 2012-13 season. It marked the end of an era in many senses, for global football, the Premier League, but most importantly, the Red Devils faithful. The storm that was to come soon after was not pretty. David Moyes at the helm, Yanazai and Fellaini in the fray, a 7th place finish in the league, United's lowest finish since 1990. Not that anyone was to blame, mind. Don't blame it on Fergie. Don't blame it on Cleverly. Don't blame it on Fellaini. Miser. The seasons to come hereafter weren't exactly a smooth smear of peanut butter, but with Jose Mourinho the only nut job brave enough to take the role, United seem to be doing um, pretty damn alright. The question is, did football manager predict the same demise for United after Fergie left? Who is it that slotted into the managerial role and were transfers such as Angel Di Maria and Memphis Depay ever predicted? Here is Manchester United starting 11 right now. Well, according to FM14. Starting at number one, and of course, David De Gea is still the main man. Just like in reality, he's been a standout player for United and has developed into one of the best goalkeepers in the world, boasting almost as many Spain caps as he has in real life. United's back four kicks off with Domenico Cristicio at left back. The Italian international has been at Zenit St. Petersburg since 2011, but on FM14, he was pipped from Russia to join United. He probably wouldn't be that bad of a player in reality in the Premier League, but on the game, it's hard to see what he offers going forward. Under 10 for dribbling, finishing, heading, long shots. Oh, and do not, do not ask this guy to take a Rory Delap type throw. At CB, we start with Johnny Evans, who has been an absolute stalwart throughout the transition stage for United. His average rating is up towards the 7.4 mark. Partnering Big Johnny in the heart of defence is Giesen Murillo, which isn't too unrealistic given his talents. Valued at 24 million though, that is a heck of a lot more than in real life. Murillo made the move directly from Granada, whereas in real life the Colombian has been passed around to Inter Milan and is now out on loan at Valencia, having turned up his nose at some Premier League interest. Presumably because it wasn't interest from United. Finishing the back four, here is Rafael, and the less we talk about him, probably the better. On the game, he's worth 28 million and is one of the best fullbacks. Like literally, here he is in comparison to Hector Bellerin, who is worth 375k and plays for South End. Midfield, and well, Phil Jones is just f***ing amazing. He was experimented as a defensive midfielder with both club and country over this period, and clearly that has paid off on the game. His stats are incredible. We're talking 18 for tackling, strength, determination and natural fitness. What more do you want from a ball winning midfielder? He is valued at 34 million, which is almost as unrealistic as Oriol Romeo playing as the key cog in this Real Madrid team. What is going on? Next to Jonesy and United have kept it English with Will Hughes. The former Derby County midfielder currently plays for Watford, although he is yet to make a Premier League appearance. On the game, he is predicted to make that step up from the Championship much, much sooner. Here, he made a name for himself in the EPL with Aston Villa before making the leap to Old Trafford for 20 million. Kind of a case of it could have, should have, would have happened for Will Hughes if his development wasn't so slow. Just like in reality, then, a free flowing attack in Trident is the way to go on the game. But with Marcus Rashford non-existent in FM14, which highlights his incredible rise to stardom by the way, and Martial still trying to make a name for himself at Monaco, well, United's attacking force is left up to these three. Mata, Yanazai, and Lamella. Yeah, take it in. I'm not going to touch on Mata too much. He's kind of done exactly what has been expected of him both in real life and in simulation grabbing double figures in assists most seasons and providing a handful of goals too, he is their most consistent performer. Adnan Yanazai though, <sighs> blimey. The Belgium youngster is a huge wonder kid on the game and that's obvious by his 33 million value at just 22 years old. 19 in attributes for flair and balance with 18 acceleration and first touch. As far as youngsters come, he is the best on the game to play in that creative hole behind a striker. He likes to play shots, knock the ball past opponents, run with the ball often and is unflappable in front of the media. Traits that are all non-existent in real life then. And take a look at this, 95k per week, in your dreams mate. Finishing up this supposedly world beating starting 11, it's Eric Lamella. 
Now, in spells, Lamella has looked like the real deal, but players like Deli Ali and Christian Eriksen have shot past him in terms of development in real life, especially when injuries proved big setbacks. But on FM14, Lamella made a massive 38 million move to United in 2016. He then went on to score 17 league goals and notched just as many assists as maiden campaign at United. Not bad. Banging home the goals up top then, show us your Danny Welbecks. Welbs has led the United line ever since Fergie left his post and saved the Red Devils plenty of pennies as they saved having to fork out on a new striker. His stats aren't that good, under 15 for finishing and just 11 at composure, but he is one to buy a London club. Uh, that's Tottenham, not Arsenal. I will quickly run through the bench as it is reasonably interesting. United have invested quite heavily in youth players. Some of the brightest prospects on the game, such as Nabil Bentelab, Stefan Savic, Victor Fischer, and also Englishman Nathaniel Chalaba have all joined Old Trafford. For Rooney, that means he's been squeezed out of the club with less and less appearances. Kind of like in real life then. But on this, he's unable to break Bobby Charlton's record for United goals. Poor Rooney. And can he make a fairy tale move back to Everton? Probably not. The Toffees are more of a relegation fighting club with Malky Mackay in control. So there you have it. Manchester United's team right now, according to FM14, and a good helping of simulation. Over the years following Fergie's departure, Man United claimed the Premier League title three out of four times and the 2016 Champions League trophy with Andres Villaboas, the man to lead the Reds to success. They spent a total of 257 million on transfers over the period, which is not too dissimilar to United in real life, who spent about 400 million, but that was with the unprecedented sudden rise in transfer prices. I mean, Pogba, for example. So there's no stagnant, disappointing turnover period on the game, but looking at the team now, there's no Jose Mourinho, no Lukaku, no Ibrahimovic, Rashford or Pogba either. So leave your comments below United fans, which would you have preferred? Instant success, like the game, or the turnover period which took time to build a squad which looks like it has plenty of future success?